Hello everybody and thank you for joining into our new series on this channel playing Crusader Kings 3 we'll start in 867 AD uh, the great adventurers but we'll play as another ruler not from the suggested ones and I was thinking a lot with whom to play I was thinking about rulers in uh, Western Europe in Great Britain and maybe a Norse ruler, maybe some Viking because they're going to be the standard ones, the ones that are going to be crusading and so on and so forth. I was also thinking about something about uh, something like India or north of it, northeast of it because I haven't seen many people do anything like that but uh, actually what I stopped on was a ruler in between in Bulgaria. Bulgaria is actually a very interesting country because first it I don't usually see it prospering. I usually see it being devoured by um, by other countries around it. And it's actually also interesting because of the time period that we are choosing and the historical period that, and things that are happening in this period for the Bulgarians. King Boris is actually the first king that uh, implements orthodoxy in Bulgaria and therefore a lot of rulers are still not converted to the orthodoxy. You can see here all kind of different religions. There is Tangrism, I think, yeah, there is Tangrism here and uh, yeah Actually, this is a period bef just before the, gr the greatness of Bulgaria and King Sim Simeon uh, who was actually, who actually expanded Bulgaria very very much but uh, what we are going to do is not play with King Boris and uh, the ruler of the country but actually play as a single count and build from them, uh, and build from from his territory onwards. Um, I, I, I like this count here because he's uh, on the Byzantine border. It can um, it it can mean that uh, more wars will be uh, declared for this territory. And he's also Tengri, while King Boris is Orthodox and it might prove a challenge and for the game rules I'm going to enable Iron Man mode and I'll reset everything to default and actually here Exclave Independence I'll put it on significant so that it's not only uh, AI but also it affects us and otherwise everything as you saw is on default I just reset the things to default and date is 1453 so we'll need some time uh, we'll, we'll have to hurry up because we don't have the whole time on the world and the other thing that I'm going to change is the Hungarian invasion which is going to be historical so we can expect something between 890 and 910 uh, but yeah that's it let's dive right on it and we're going to actually name our game Bulgaria Are safe and okay here we are uh, our ruler is not amazing actually he's very bad um, but at least he has the military uh, skill and we have only one count as I said um, Okay, let's uh, start with things. Our shaman is not very good as well. 13, that's fine, I guess. Mm. There is a guy can, who is 15, uh, but this is a vassal. I see. Uh, Hmm. 
Okay, well, we'll leave the council for like that for now. It's not a great council for sure. Mm, what we should do is actually see. Okay, we have a daughter, so maybe we can make an alliance with somebody. Mm, can we have a lineal alliance? Who are those guys? 507 and where are they? They should be close by, nearby. Ah yeah, they're not very far away. And they have 507 troops. I I guess this is a good alliance. Moreover, we will be married. They will be married matrilinearly. So that's fine, I guess. Uh, where did these people go? Weren't they just here? Strange. Ah. Uh. Okay, maybe I did something wrong there. Uh, this Balin, who is his father? Is he some kind of... Is he our vassal or...? No, it doesn't seem like it. We are here, so... This guy has one castle, I think. Yeah. Well, okay, that, that's fine, I guess. As long as we marry matrilinearly, that's fine. And there will be an alliance. Okay, and let's choose a lifestyle focus. Uh, I guess what will be the best for now is chivalry focus at least for the first five years and let's also check our court and how much is he 10 gold 10 gold is okay let's recruit him he has a decent diplomacy very good diplomacy actually mm -hmm. I'll put him here or maybe I can put... Yeah, you know, my vassals are not so important as, as they are actually just simple barons and it's much more important for me that I have better skilled people. So I'll put Sveta here as a spy master for now. Or... Can I actually put this guy here? 13. 13 is fine. I can swap I can swap them. And I will put most most here. And for the for the Chancellor I'll put this guy with 17. And Shaman is this guy, okay, that's fine. Um, and I was going to say to you guys, I actually played um, Crusader Kings before, but on, uh, on the earliest version of the game. So I haven't played on 1.3, and I have several DLCs actually installed here. So this is 1.3 with... Uh, two DLCs included um, okay powerful vassals what uh, I don't care about that taking concubine nah, I'm not going to take my courtiers as concubines 
I'm actually doing this with my courtiers. I'm trying to find the best wife possible for them or um, I'm going to yeah this 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 woman actually sounds good or if it is a Yeah, if they are actually uh, women, I'm trying to marry them matrilineally and take some good skilled, well skilled people to my court, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. Mm, no, it doesn't work, definitely doesn't work for now. I guess I have very very low diplomacy and that's the, the reason. Okay, this guy and Radislav, you can have some inheritable skill. No, you can't. Okay. Mm. Can you have some very good skill? Okay, she has 21 in martial, that's amazing. Let's marry them. Sveta, maybe you can find somebody better. No, doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem that they are appearing here, or that good choices are appearing here. Maybe we have to let the game uh, run for several days. Uh, I mean, for several in-game days and uh, we'll see some other things happening okay yeah we are married this was the achievement and right away a faction has been created independence faction and also another Prince Vladimir Rasata actually aha uh -huh. okay so this period of history is in Bulgaria is um, marked by the very hard trans transfer from Tangroism to Orthodoxy. Um, I told you that it's an interesting uh, period. But uh, yeah, Vladimir Rasata actually w he inherited the kingdom of Bulgaria and tried to um, return to Tangriism, but uh, King Boris came back and uh, managed to um, managed to uh, instill orthodoxy once again in their lands. Okay, let's uh, see. Let's search for a physician, yeah, doesn't, doesn't hurt to do so. But yeah, mm, it was a very interesting period. Because afterwards uh, King Boris gave the throne to Simeon, his third son, which is not what usually happened in middle, in middle ages, you know. Uh, prowess, what about prowess? How does he have nine? That's not good. Uh, are they good at all? Oh, she is quick and pretty. Maybe we can take her, but we're going to go into that. Ah, <sighs> well, maybe some other day. Okay, limited crown walls, so he can revoke titles already. Uh, that's not very nice. Let's see the factions that are 
hop on it right now. The clanging of mail and the clashing of swords rings in my ears as my champions practice their arms. I study them intently, trying to ascertain each one's particular strengths and weaknesses. There can be little rest for them, for as soon as the bell is rung to signal the end of the mock melee, the stable doors are opened. It's time to bring out the mounts. Okay, today we are going to the field riding. Uh, it gives us a marsh. It might gain us a martial lifestyle perk, or bring me the bring me my armor. I haven't ridden on the queen quintain in ages. Uh, mounted experience for five years, which is giving us some small health boost and prowess. Well, let's go for the martial lifestyle perk possibility of gaining it. I don't think that I have gained it, but anyway. Uh, have I gained anything? Uh, wait. No, it doesn't seem like it. Um, yeah, actually we need to also send our, chan our uh, priest to fabricate claims, so Let's see, we are still under, directly under our king and let's see who else is directly under our king. This is, uh, this is him. <laughs> he has this guy here, who is directly under him. He, we can beat this guy. And those guys here. Oh, we can't beat. Why is he having 500 troops? Ah, those are the tribal vassals. Okay, so let's focus on not the tribal people. Maybe let's focus on this guy. As he is one of the only counts. Yeah, he's actually the only count that has a castle, I think. And the other ones have tribes here, as you can see. So let's send our, chan our shaman to here and it will take him around two years that's fine I guess and mm, let's also sway the shaman okay and can we do anything else yeah let's Sent our chancellors. Actually, everybody can do whatever here, but this guy, let's send him to find some secrets. Uh, those are okay prestige increase, some domain taxes increase, and levy and garrison increase. That's fine for me. Ah, this is another thing that actually happened. Okay. So I can have aggressive leader, aggressive attacker, which is not very interesting actually. Or I can gain one martial lifestyle perk. Champion practice, a huge top view. Mostage glances at the mud fields at the bottom of the hill. Those could serve as the outline of an enemy army, he says. I inform my champions as I inspect their battle line, preparing them for the strategy at hand. I would say that I'll be more strategic and I should cut off diagonally and lead the champions into the flanks. Yep. We are going with this. And we unlocked uh, Marshall Burke. Champion practice precision strike. The storm of hooves around me, the shouts of mounted warriors, their unyielding momentum riding at their head. It feels as if I'm at the head of, the, of a force of nature. This, however, is a force I direct that responds to, me, to my every little order that I command as if it was an extension of myself. Charging into the flanks of an imaginary army, my champions never staying from my never straying from my plan. I know that this is how I bring utter devastation to my enemy. So, yep, 
we unlocked one March of Perk, that's very nice. And I would say that for now I'm going to go this to this tree and increase my prowess because I would really like to see those, um, you know, dueling events that I think are implemented here. And I can actually declare war on some people, but I think that those people all are very, very... Actually, no. Ah, yeah. They're kinda... Stronger than me. Much stronger than me. Yeah. Um... Okay, so we basically have to wait until this claim is um, gained and we have to be careful what's happening here with the oh, with the factions and here is uh, this faction for independence that go, that is going by some of the Tengri leaders and actually, ah, there is an orthodox leader as well, interesting. And actually I'm thinking to uh, stay with the king, stay with King Boris. Uh, and actually, he gave this stick to this guy, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we beat this guy? 190. Ah, yeah, we can beat this guy. Ah, this is Prince Simeon. <laughs> Interesting. We'll be attacking the, the next ruler of the kingdom if Vladimir Zasata is actually dethroned in this game, I'm, I'm doubtful that this will happen, of course. But let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. And maybe speed up a little bit the things and actually maybe now it is the right moment to check okay, this this girl is no not very good no need to hire her but now it would be a good time to check about our courtiers and find them some good matches maybe they have kinda Renewed? No, doesn't seem like it. No, it doesn't seem like it. Interesting, because usually... Okay, there is something happening. Oh, our wife actually gained 50 gold. Amazing. That's great, and she get pro she got pregnant. Interesting. Um, this guy can he marry somebody with inheritable traits? No, doesn't seem like it. And also he, it seems that nobody is really, nobody really good is around us. That's very strange. Okay, then let's uh, let the game have some time, I guess. And this count is actually very good. Okay, so... Uh, Vladimir Rosate is actually going against King Boris. Wow, that's interesting. So, they most probably put this... Uh, this thing is a, is a mechanic. Interesting. Okay, but I, as I said, I'm going to go with the king, with Bulgarians here, not trying to go for the tank reason. And actually, now as I think about it, I might be... It might be better for me to... Actually convert soon rather sooner that rather than later because because our 
Our position as a tank reviewer is not a, not extremely good. Okay, um, let's uh, actually help our king offer to join the war. And yeah, raise raise all our armies. And oh, they're coming for us. Uh, let's let's move towards maybe Strumitsa. Can we actually take something at all? He seemed to be very... Actually we can't take anything at all. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. Do we have some good commander traits? No. Doesn't seem like we have some organizer or something like that. Let's go join the army of our king and defeat here Prince Vladimir Hosate in this battle. And we actually. Okay, yeah, you can go to disrupt schemes. Actually, as, of, as I'm thinking about it, it will be a better idea if we start sieging. Okay, the battle is actually taking place right now. And we're going to destroy them a lot. By a lot. Yep, we are victorious. Okay. Uh, yeah, what I'm thinking is that maybe we can besiege something before our leech and that's how we can take some money. Uh, okay, they started this siege though, so this is not uh, an option, but maybe we can start here siege. And yeah, I know that uh, my troops are not enough, but uh, I'm just going to wait here until their siege is over and then... Oh, and I have a new son. Ognem. Well, let's... Let's actually... Name him Ognem. It's a name that is right now uh, there are some people that are called Omnion even now so basically that's a good name so this will be our hair and I missed to check if he's having some oh no he's whistling whizzing that's bad. <laughs> Why do we have such skill? Uh, does she have a lover? Bad. Well, I guess we will get rid of it at some point. And otherwise, uh, yeah, we can hold a feast or something like that, but we are still not stressed, so let's start searching for a physician, maybe. And also, when this war is over, I'm going to switch right away. Um, yeah, they're, they're both not very good, so I'll leave them be. Can I take some concubines that are good? Uh, doesn't seem so. And our leech is 
Ah, actually, Vladimir Sate is actually raided. Oh, they attacked us. Okay, but our king will help us any moment now. I hope. Oh no, he will be too late. Will he be too late? Oh, come on. We were defeated there. being careful there and they defeated us. I hope to earn some money in this war in order to be able to pay for this claim. Wait. Okay, so this guy's father died. our girl actually and they're married matrilinearly so we can take the rule of this little castle here and what I was saying is that this territory is very good because it has three castles in it so it's actually very interesting territory and actually our vassals seem to be more powerful than us which is very interesting Eight percent. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can go and lay siege to here to this castle in Piri. Okay. And the Byzantine Empire won against some Sultan there. Maybe against the Abbasids. I'm not sure. No. Maybe against the. Uh, Two, two units. Alright. And I'll have to be careful not to be attacked once more by enemy's forces. Otherwise, I'll convert right after we win this war. He has one person here who has begun the, say, the siege actually. And did we actually did we actually take this? No, actually we didn't completely siege it. We didn't finish the siege there. Interesting. Let's go back then and besiege it and most probably our king will help us. Come on, just take their foot away. Oh, come on. That's outright stupid. Okay, and our wife is actually doing great things for our prestige and our money and everything. And I'm thinking, oh wow, well, what a monster commander. <laughs> he has 37 advantage. Wow. Okay, and we sweat our shaman, that's good, so... Ah, and the other faction started a war against our king as well. Oh, is this bad? How big are they? No, it's actually kind of fine. Our leech has around 1,800 troops, and we have, and they have around 2,500. But we are fighting this war right now, and this is going to definitely affect our leech. Especially if he continues attacking this army in this way that he is doing it right now. No, oh. this guy died from injuries. 
Amazing. Uh, let's put myself there in charge. And about the council, let's put this Carolina, although she hates us, maybe doesn't know. Let's put this Shurk and send her to review some secrets. And I believe that they're not going to be able to finish this siege. Okay, strategic going pace. I'm sitting around the map table with Baron Tomislav and Baron Bertalan discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Tomislav eagerly points out all of the prime targets we should immediately send trading parties to village while Bertalan nervously mutters about how we should avoid unnecessary engagements and fight a war of attrition. It's my right to decide our ultimate course of action. Uh, I would say that uh, Bertilan is uh, actually not making sense because um, <laughs> what kind of attrition when we have 200 soldiers? Mm. And Tomislav actually also is not making much sense because what kind of raiding with so little soldiers? But uh, I would say let's go with let's go with Tomislav. Actually, <laughs> they can act as they want because it really doesn't doesn't matter for me, and they both don't make sense to me. And we have a claim of the county of Mesembria, that's amazing. And okay, let's see what other counties maybe. Maybe we can take some territory off here of Prince Yakov. Because he he has as much troops as we have actually. So yeah, let's send him here. 13 months, that's great. And yes, let's retreat with our army. Because this will be another defeat if they take us on. And we unlocked another martial perk. Wow, that's very quick. Our uh, Romans, I'm, I'm going to go for Romans maybe, but first let's go for knight effectiveness. And let's try to quickly finish this war so that we can concentrate on the other war that we that our king was dragged into. And this good. And here we are almost finished with the siege. That's great. Uh, we'll be able we will be able to move away from here. No? Okay, maybe let's put somebody else commanding us, not exactly ourselves. Yes, they conquered there and we have a big battle advantage but it's not going to help because they have like twice more troops. Let's hope that we don't lose any of our knights. Okay, we, we might have lost this battle in the previous one, but uh, as a whole we were able to finish, to almost finish this war. We are going to finish it very, very soon. 
and I'm going to give my troops a rest actually so that we can prepare for taking over Prince Simeon's uh, territory there Okay, and they are defeated. But I'm going to disband, to disband my army here. And okay, our spouse is so great. <laughs> She's so helpful. Interesting. And she's so bad, but she's so helpful. Very interesting. Okay, let's speed up this. And yeah, let's finish this war. And this is where we'll... Okay. To make my Shaman Mark more susceptible to my attempts of approaching him, I can include the complement in my next miss missive to his court. I will be sure to mention his, let's see, lucky, and he is generous and arrogant and patient. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe forgiving nature is good. Okay, he says that it's that he liked it, that's great. And there are some raiders here, they might be able to help us actually against those things. Help our leech. Okay, let's take her back to find to review schemes. And yeah, after this castle is taken, we are actually going to win the war. This is going to be the last encampment that needs to fall. Okay, so Prince Vladimir Rasate is captured and we won this war. And that's it. Okay. And now I would say that it's better to actually adopt his fate, adopt orthodoxy. Uh, our vassals will not convert actually. Ah, we can't convert because we need more religion. Okay, then next episode we will try to convert to his fate and yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you don't want to miss the next uh, episode of our adventures, um, please subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, like, and if you have any suggestions on where to go, how to proceed onwards, let me know. And goodbye for now.